start with why by Simon Zanek. Welcome to my channel. My name is Samuel and I want to make self-growth normal. If you want to make self-growth normal, because I don't want to do it alone, and who doesn't want to make self-growth normal, then make sure to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and also with ranking and SEO and all this other stuff and I really appreciate it because so much work goes into making these videos. You'd be surprised. A lot of work really goes into making these videos. Now it's crazy to think about leadership and how its connection to the reasons we do what we do actually has to do with so much more than just getting people to do things. There are lots of different things the author talks about far beyond leadership. Like this book, just in like the first half, it, it explores like prices, promotions, corporate culture, manipulation and fear, the disguise of novelty as innovation. He explains the influence these companies have on our behavior from Apple, who by the way is my favorite company, for so many reasons, one of them being the fact that it seems like no new business book is immune to the activity of talking about them and their success. To Motorola, to Colgate, to Harley Davidson, to Southwest Airlines and Continental Airlines, to even people like Martin Luther King Jr. and, and John F. Kennedy. A huge thing is that these people, at least the successful ones, they communicate with us from the inside out not the outside in. Like yes, they are all structures. They are all all successful and unsuccessful companies. <laughs> Hopefully, are structures. They have bosses, they have employees and all this other stuff. However, their why is like that intangible factor and how it connects to what they do. This is what brings their brands to such animated thriving degrees of just life. He says that, you know, when it comes to this company versus that company, it's not which one's better. It depends on where they are and whether that is where you feel you belong. This is what makes us think, you know, Coke versus Pepsi is the difference between those things and Apple versus Microsoft. People think it's just, you know, commercials, but these things are so much deeper than just opinion here. They are biology. And even if they are just opinion, you know what's under the surface of opinion? Biology, in my opinion. And I mean, if that is an opinion, I think it is. And of course the authors. There's a full chapter about cultures of trust and how finding people who believe what you believe is, is like crucial. Here's an example. One stonemason might say, I've been building this wall for as long as I can remember. The stones are super heavy. I, it's really hot. I work in the sun all day. And it's backbreaking, but it's a job. And it pays the bills. It truly saddens me that anyone in the world, anyone feels this way about what they do. And even more, when they say that there's nothing they can do about that. That is, to me, is just, it, it really is like heartbreaking. Because it's... It's a mindset thing. And if you don't believe that, 30 feet away, another stonemason getting paid just as much, the same amount, and everything like that, will say, I love my job, I'm building a cathedral. Sure, the stones are heavy and I work in the sun all day, and I don't even know if it's gonna com be completed in my lifetime, but hey, I'm building a cathedral. And that's what matters. You guys know what we're doing? We're making self-growth normal. It may not even happen in our lifetimes. Sure, there's a lot of adversity and negativity. Sure, there's a lot of money we're probably gonna have to invest. And all this work we need to put into ourselves in the process. But we're making self-growth normal. Do you wanna know what world peace looks like? You wanna know what happens when like everyone seeks to understand each other first, pay more attention to their surroundings, and constantly be taking like at the same time, more courageous, inspiring action. What if all of us worked out, like, constantly? What if all of us meditated every day? What if we were, I hope this is the right phrasing, environmentally engineered problem solvers? What if we could all afford to do anything we wanted? Uh, maybe money wouldn't even exist, I don't know. I know war and terrorism probably wouldn't. It's a lot of work, <laughs> but we're making self-growth normal. And this is not just some sales pitch, I'm not trying to get people to hop onto my brand or anything, because the more how this relates to the book is the more we learn about ourselves and each other and everything around us, the more ways we'll find our whys actually have to do with each other. And a huge part of this he talks about influencers, the people who can take your ideas and convert them into movements. Because those are the people you should target from the beginning. He also talks about what separates those who know why and like generate that why from within and what separates those people from the ones who they find who know how. People have Harley Davidson logos tattooed on their bodies. People who don't even own their products. That's insane. He also talks about where a why comes from and what it's like and the reasons for like when a why 
kind of splits and gets fuzzy and it's kind of tricky to get back in touch with it. But the most profound thing about this book is the action is that it, it uncovers the anatomy of smashing that like button if you haven't already, but it uncovers the anatomy of why itself. A Y and like its place in the environment of your marketplace. By the way, I think it's really important when authors tell stories, their personal stories that apply to books like these and the books themselves. And I love it when the author puts their story at the end. I really admired Simon Sinex. I think what he did with his situation heavily aligns with what is explained in this book. And I've definitely felt the feelings he felt. Honestly, in the last month, some of them have hit me to the degree that other times I don't, I don't remember the last time I felt that way, but the books like books like this one are the ones that remind me I'm not the only one who wants to succeed doing the things that inspire him or herself. Quotes, price always costs something, but how much are you willing to pay for the money you make? Quitting smoking is the easiest thing I've ever done. I've done it a hundred times. People don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. The only difference between you and a caveman is the car you drive. Those who know why need those who know how. Apple doesn't just own the letter I, they own the word I. Direction one. I recommend this book for anyone who feels like they lost their spark, that reason that they do what they do. Oh, also, if you own a company, I definitely recommend that like on a more macro level. If the whole company has kind of forgot its whole why. Direction two. If you like this book, I think you would really like The Culture Code by Daniel Coyle. He did a lot of, he did a great job on this one. I think there's a lot of gold in that work. I think Creativity Inc, by the way, is another great one by uh, Ed Catmull and Amy Wallace about the ins and outs of like legendary corporate culture and the connection, the sense of trust and belonging to companies. I want to give a shout out, by the way, to Amy Wallace the co-author of Creativity Inc. for replying to me on Twitter. I'm really glad she enjoyed my review and I appreciate her time and yours as well. Start With Why by Simon Sinek. There's a link in the description if you guys want to check it out and read the reviews that and all the other books that I mentioned in this video as well. If there are any other books that you guys want me to check out and review, please let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know if you checked out this book and you liked it, but hey, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, because I don't know why people watch this far into my videos and they don't subscribe. I really don't. But if you have subscribed and you want to turn it up just a notch and turn on that little bell to receive a notification every time I drop a new video, that would mean the world to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You can find me everywhere and I will see you then.